What's up people, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Palace Bad Mason here, bringing you this video on a very confusing night at Carrow Road, full time at Carrow Road, Norwich City 1, Crystal Palace 1. Now I said before the game that I, um, I didn't I didn't necessarily say this is a must win, but I didn't want to lose this game. And we nearly slipped up there. Um, so let's go through the game. Um, Razisha put through down the left-hand side, literally inside the first, what was it, 30 seconds or something. Um, Joel Wards was beating for pace. I think that's one of the reasons why I think he's done out here as a right-back for Crystal Palace Football Club. Anyway, um, Razisha get, gets past him, puts a cross and headed away, only as far as Timu Puki at the edge of the box, and he puts it in, in off the post. And that's the Premier League's fastest goal on record this season. Inside 38 seconds, Timu Puki gave Norwich the lead and I was not happy at all that we were 1-0 down inside 38 seconds to a team that I thought was finished like two months ago. Um, we didn't create anything in the second half. Nor, I mean, we didn't create anything in the first half, sorry, nor did Norwich really. Um, first half was a bit boring other than that goal, really. We had a goal scored by Jean-Philippe Mateta three minutes before the um, end of the first half, but it was chalked off for offside. That was really it, but I knew he was offside before he even scored. So, really, that wasn't really a personal highlight of mine. The second half, though, was a lot more eventful. Not really for Norwich. What a goal from Wilfred Zaha. Wilfred Zaha is back, ladies and gentlemen. What a strike that was from our number 11. Honestly, that is a goal that I've been waiting to see for a while. An actual bit of real pure talent from Wilfred Zaha. And he brought us back level. What a strike. Finesse into the top right-hand corner. Angus Gunn, no chance. Um, and then three minutes later, Mitchell goes through. and But he was brought down by Max Aaron's penalty to Crystal Palace. And I genuinely thought that Wilfred Zaha was going to get two in the space of three minutes. And then he seemed to slip as he ran up to the ball. I mean, I was really surprised when I saw it go wide. I thought it was a really poor penalty, but I actually saw him slip. It happens sometimes, and it's just something we've got to deal with. Yes, it's a ball late, but it is what it is. But now we've not got that win against Norwich. I think the game against Brentford on Saturday is absolutely crucial for our season. Um, yeah, today's today's performance was a mixed, 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 mixed from me. Part, some players done well, some players didn't do well. I'm going to go through the team. Guaita didn't really have much to do other than the goal. Had no chance with the goal, really. Um, but could he, he, didn't, he didn't really do much wrong today. Joel Ward, I think he's finished. I would rather put Nathaniel Klein in or give Nathan Ferguson the chance. Um, I, I knew that playing Joel Ward against Hartlepool would be a mistake. I said it in the in the video, go check it out if you haven't already. But I said about Joel Ward um, playing this game, I didn't see the need for him to play. I think Nathaniel Klein would have done a good, uh, a good or if not better job on that right-hand side against Hartlepool. But no, we've thrown him in there for that game, we've thrown him in there for this game as well. If Vieira wants to just play Ward, then we should have invested in another right-back to replace him. Because we we haven't, and Joel Ward's now going to be he's going to be done by the end of the season. Anyway, other players, um, Mark Gahey, brilliant in defence. I feel Joachim Anderson, his long balls today were absolutely fantastic. Apart from a couple that were hit too hard, but other than that, Joachim Anderson I think did well. Tyrick Mitchell, um, he was okay down that left hand side. I he won us the penalty. I'd be giving him a lot more credit if Zaha would have put it in, but. Again, it's not Mitchell's fault. Mitchell done, I think I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Um, three midfielders. Conor Gallagher done uh, done um, okay. I think he was okay. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, Will Hughes, I think, was the best player on the pitch today. Um, 100%. Because every time Palace an attacker got... Every time a Palace attacker got the ball, it was like three Norwich players around him. And Will Hughes was the player that was dealing with it better than anyone else. So Will Hughes is my man of the match. Jeffrey Schlupp, I don't think it works, personally. I don't think Jeffrey Schlupp should be in that midfield. He, he just doesn't work because he's too he's a too attacking minded. And the other two that we've got, Gallagher's more of a, a attacking as well, and then you've got Hughes is more of a defensive midfielder. You've not really got a midfield. That midfield today, if it was any other team, they'd have cut for a slight butter. 
but I think it, I, I think Jeffrey Schlupp done okay with what he had. Um, Wilfred Zaha today, his first half was quite poor. Second half, what a strike. And the penalty he scuffed, and yeah, it, he could have won us this game, but yeah, it's not. It, it was. It's not the greatest of scenarios, but it is what it is. Zaha, I think he done okay today, just like the rest of them. Elise, <sighs> Hartlepool made Elise look good, and so did Millwall. Elise was decent against Liverpool today. I feel that he was quite. He was okay again. Mateta. Uh, Mateta done, I think he did good, I'd say good, um, the players that came on, Eze didn't really contribute much, nor Jordan Ayew I think done okay, and uh, Edouard didn't really impact on the game, so yeah, fourth time at Carrow Road, Palace won, Norwich City won, um, in terms of the lineup, couldn't fault the lineup. I thought the lineup was brilliant, um, so yeah, Brentford on Saturday, absolutely must win game now, I feel, uh, Brentford, Obviously, are still lower than us in the league. They've lost tonight. I think that's the seventh game they've lost in a row in all competitions. We need to get this win. And I know that our away form is one of the worst in the league. We've only won one away game this season, and that was the one against Man City. So we have to get these wins against Brentford. Because after that, we've got Chelsea. Can't see us winning that. And then we've got Burnley. And if we don't beat Brentford or Chelsea, Burnley is imperative. I think we're now... What is it? I think we're like seven, six or seven or eight points off the off the drop zone. We're not safe. We're not safe. Even though we're playing a lot more better football, admittedly, but that, that sometimes sometimes it doesn't keep you up. You know. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this YouTube video. It's going to be a late release, so yeah. I'll, I'll thank anyone watching, so thanks very much. Thanks for 164 subscribers. We're on our road to 200 now, people. Get in there. Come on, lads. We can do this. Um, so, yeah, Brentford on Saturday it is. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video.